Today was part two of our peer helper training. It's an exciting day. Ms. O'Connor and I have received training uh, for peer helpers and we're working with her grade six class and we are doing training, getting them ready to be helpers at our school. Previously, we had done a lot of groundwork around um, listening skills, what is conflict, what are problems. We moved into um, kind of seeing somebody else's perspective and a little bit about listening. If you're not actually listening to what they have to say, then it's hard to understand their perspective or their needs. And needs was another big part of our learning this morning about when we have a conflict and people are upset, it's often because they need something. So can we identify what it is that that person needs? And so I think it was a nice continuation of the work we have been doing. So we've kind of done all the groundwork, you know, talking about communication and listening and um, what is conflict. And so now we move into how do we actually help people solve the conflict? Who do you think you need to be talking to when there's a problem? The person who had the problem. The person who had the problem is the people who were in the situation, in the situation mm -hmm. right? We wanted to do this to give them the skills to be able to solve conflict and kind of see other people's perspectives because oftentimes they only see their perspective so talking about conflict in different situations I, I can already see it helping them understand that when they get into a conflict somebody there's another person who has a different perspective or when they come into conflict what's the best way to solve that and so it ends up in a win-win situation for both parties why do you think it's important to know things about each other um, people don't get into fights, uh, so you can become better friends. So you can become better friends. When we know more about each other, we actually want to take better care of each other. When you're working as a peer helper, one of the things when people are in conflict, having problems, is that they often don't feel they have anything in common. We talk a lot about, you know, being sensitive to the feelings and ideas of others and showing respect um, in the way you deal with other people. We've given them the language to use and the tools to solve those problems and tr how to treat other people with respect when they're in conflict. You're going to receive a bag, two bags of Lego. You're going to sit on the floor back to back so you can't see what the person is building. So one partner's going to build first. The other partner is just going to wait. When the object is built, you are then going to explain to your partner how they're going to build the object without seeing it. Okay, and now, what's well, not saying, we have to see money. That's okay. How did they do describing the object? How did it work? We were doing good teamwork. She described it by the colors and the shapes. They did ask questions. And did it help when they asked questions? Mm hmm and they look alike. Ah. So as peer helpers, it's very important that part of your work is learning how to be a good listener so you can ask the right questions. And that's part of what you were learning through doing this activity. It's pretty hard to do when you're not looking at the person, but if you have the listening skills to actually like listen to the words they're saying and where to put stuff, then it should work. Conflict is going to happen. Um, so when it does happen, then how can we kind of make sure that everybody is treated with respect and everybody feels safe? If I did not put this orange right now, then I'll be super angry and mad for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I want that orange because I need to use the orange peels for my art project. Well, I'm super angry. And I need it for my art project. Oh, I have a solution. Oh, that's not my problem. Beast. Even though it was the same object, did they both have the same need for the object? No. 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 One was what? Hunger. Hunger. The other was? Rogers. So Vince's solution, which was, Vince? Um, we can eat the orange and she can have the peel. He can eat the orange and then he can share the peel with Stephanie and she gets it for her art project. Is that something that you think that you could agree on? Yes. Yeah. All right. That could be the solution. And we've also been able to tie it to um, our writing outcomes because we've, you know, we've been doing a lot of writing about how we feel about conflict. And so it's tied into language arts, but then also health in terms of like taking care of yourself. And there's some mental health aspects of that about, you know, when you do, don't feel safe or when you are in conflict with somebody, how to make sure that we can all stay calm and 
happy. So there's been those pieces of it as well. So grade sixes will be our role models and helpers within these situations that we have, and they can help the younger students develop those skills, help problem solve, deal with conflict in a positive way. It's awesome. It's so great to see them participating in something that's actually going to make a difference for them outside of school, because you know, they're going to be able to take these skills that we teach them and hopefully use them in their life to make sure that they can be happy and success successful after they leave our school. It's been an awesome experience. So great.